Thank you, Saleh. My favorite superhero is my dad because he's never there for me. He's always playing around somewhere else. <laughs> okay, so with every great story, there's usually, they always say a great story is not determined by the heroes, but it's usually by the villains. Uh, there's a great story is usually dictated by a great villain. So the next question is going to be about what's the who is your favorite villain and why. So with that being said, let's invite the villain of this. Good evening, fellow Toastmasters and welcome guests. It was a hard one because I'm not a fan of superhero movies at all. So, sorry, Sade, the Hulk is not my favorite superhero. But, on the side of villain, I tend to sidetrack a bit. I watch cartoons more than all these superhero movies back at the time. So, to give you the answer in short, my favorite villain is actually Jerry from Tom and Jerry. Five seconds to take now here is why I think that Jerry is a horrible house. <laughs> Tom has never done anything wrong. And for those that have never watched Tom and Jerry, Tom is the cat. <laughs> Jerry is the mouse that always like bothers the cat. So short answer, someone bothers you a lot and you don't do anything, that's why you're the villain. But Jerry is a very smart individual because he himself would never get himself blamed, although he's the one that caused havoc and destroyed home life. Just like how in our life, there's always people that try to break us down when some of us are trying to shine. <coughs> some of them might be in this room and some of them might not be in this room. <laughs> but nevertheless, no matter how much people try to break you down, it depends on yourself. Look at Tom. Tom has never given up. Tom gets distracted or bothered every single day for every episode of the cartoon. But eventually, Tom and Jerry became good friends together. If you can't kill your villain, be friends with them and you never know what can happen. Okay.